By far, one of the biggest questions we get is, how can I digitize all my old photos? I mean, we all have them, right? They're stuffed into drawers or shoe boxes or photo albums, and some of them go back even generations. But photos can get lost or destroyed, or a lifetime of memories can end up spending their lifetime in a box. So it's a really good idea to get them digitized so that you can preserve and make sure that they're safe and also easily share and enjoy them. And there's a couple ways we can make this happen. If the pile you're looking to digitize looks something like this, maybe a hundred or so, then a decent flatbed scanner is the way to go. All the major brands have ones that do a great job, but here's one I recommend. It's under a hundred bucks and it even has a built-in transparency unit. So now you can scan 35 millimeter slides and transparencies as well. You could also use one of the slew of portable scanners that are cropping up, but again, not good for more than a few at a time. Okay, let's talk settings. Set your resolution at 72 DPI, or dots per inch, if all you want to do is just post these pictures online. If you want them to be print quality, it's best to scan at 300 DPI. You'll be able to print a photo that's the same size as the one you have or a little bit larger. If you really want to blow things up, it's best to scan at 600 DPI. You'll be able to print a much larger print, but bear in mind, your file will be much larger as well. So be selective about what you bump up. If the pile you're looking to digitize looks something like this, you might want some help. Consider a scanning service like scanmyphotos.com. They have massive high-speed scanners that can quickly scan thousands of photos and they'll return them all back to you with a photo DVD just a few weeks later. They'll scan a thousand of your photos for $79.50, all at 300 DPI. There are a few rules to follow, like a minimum and maximum size for the originals and how they have to be bundled face up in the same direction and wrap tightly together with a rubber band. Now, when you're bundling up your photos, it's probably a good time to separate the good from the bad and the ugly. I mean, you probably don't need to scan every vacation photo you ever took. 10 or 15 of your favorites would probably suffice. I know, I know, it's very difficult emotionally to throw away photos, but think about it. They're probably just gonna end up in your attic or your kid's attic or God knows where. It's just something to think about. Now, once they're all scanned, where do you store them? Well, I like external hard drives. I put a label on the front, and then I keep a directory on my computer so I can search later and know exactly what's inside. Or you could use a cloud service so that they don't take up space on your hard drive or in your home. All of these are really great choices. Digitizing your photos is a great way to save and preserve them, and also a great way to get them out into the light where everyone can enjoy them. What's lurking in your garage that you're excited about bringing out into the digital age? Let me know in the comments or let's hang out on Facebook. Happy scanning. Bye.